guys. So guess what I heard? I heard the Glam Mads aren't giving away any of that 501c3. Just saying. Meet me back here. See you in a minute. <laughs> Have you ever woke up and wondered what was wrong with you? You knew you wanted to be elsewhere, that there was more to life than the life you were living, more than the bills you were paying, the job you were keeping. Look to the horizon, to the sunsets, your answer is there. Put your feet on the ground and take a deep breath and step into the nomadic lifestyle. You will not regret it. Hi guys, I hope you guys enjoyed my two calm videos where I tell you how to find free camping and uh, what, yeah, rig I prefer. But, yeah, I heard some really disturbing news. Let's talk about it. Get your coffee. Huh? Anyway, so I heard, <laughs> and, you know, guys, I don't go watch the glam mads and the scam mads. I can't stand them. I can't stand even hear the lies come out of their mouth. I just can't. It's bad enough I got their trolls all over my channel. Those trying to be nice so they can get under my skin. Right? I know. <laughs> and they think I'm stupid. Hey, I got to be 60 because I'm not bright, right? <laughs> Anyhow, I heard that old Bob is turning people away for help. Right? You guys have to... The gall. The gall. I mean, how many people have donated to this fund of his, this 501c3, and now I hear that he's turning people away? What did I tell you? I said that if, if you didn't believe in their views and or you said something to them that didn't quite sit right, they wouldn't give them anything. So is it that they're picking a couple of who they like, or is it that they're just not giving anything away? I told you, I told you this was going to happen. How about the glam mad, and I'm going to call this one a scam mad, who begged a house, a mobile home, off her viewers, and now, now, this ungrateful person has the audacity to complain and fuss because there's rats. <laughs> there's rats all over Arizona. We have fruit rats. It's called bait. Not only that, now she wants her viewers to pay for a remodeling. You guys, I just don't get where the greed ends. I, I don't get it. I don't get it. How does that country bumpkin do it? I mean, she hasn't lived in a van in probably two years. She quit living in a van before I ever lived in a van. She had something called cake. Sold it for way too much money. But how does she keep the viewers? How does she keep the money coming in? It amazes me. It amazes me that her viewers would fall for it. And then, and then, now she wants more money. And I have somebody say because I have a PayPal button that I'm an e-beggar. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's funny. That's funny right there. <laughs> you can look back on every one of my videos. I have never asked for money, ever. <laughs> you know, old Bob and Carolyn. Yeah, I knew that I knew that it would be pick and choose who they gave to. That you would have to be a butt kisser to get anything out of them. The fact that he has an assistant tells you guys he makes way too much damn money. <laughs> Just saying. Just saying. This is a guy who lives in a van who has an assistant. Come on. You know, I, I, gullible is one thing. Gullible is one thing, but you cannot fix stupid. Those who continue to give and give and give and give after it's been slapped in their face that these, these people aren't going to stop begging. They expect to be supported. And you know something about it? The sad part is that little country bumpkin, she gets a check every month. That's right. She gets disability every month. 
Every month. But yet every day she's sitting in her van driving around town making videos begging for money. Just saying. I'm just saying. And you guys, I haven't even touched on a ball. There's the one who sold the rig and then bragged about it on video. There's the one young guy who's gone from a van to an RV, back to a van, now in an RV, that gets new solar every time. His latest thing is he, he begged new solar for his new rig, and now it needs a new roof. How do you not notice? <laughs> And I'm a girl. When you're up on there drilling down those solar panels, that you got a bad roof. But his followers fall for it. So anyway, if you guys know this to be true, because I don't watch these people, <laughs> I don't have time. The fact is, is I'm going to give somebody out there who deserves my view, my view. Um, if you guys hear anything about this, the person who told me went right to them for help and was turned away in a heart, hot heartbeat. Um, I, I don't understand how they can turn people away with this being a 501c3. And maybe somebody in the government will look into it. But I think it's disgusting. I think that they have the audacity to get on there and beg. Oh, I don't need the money, but send me your money. And then when somebody needs a little bit of help, it can't be said. It's really sad. So anyway, you guys have a great day. Remember to love yourself. I, I had to, guys. <laughs> I just can't sit there and take that. Don't ask me. Oh, by the way, don't ask me to go look at somebody else's channel that I thoroughly don't believe in. I don't want to read about them. I don't want to watch them. I don't care. I'm just saying. Don't come on here trying to, to promote your channel. Yeah, it's not going to happen. I do read every comment every comment unless it's a troll and usually I can tell by the middle of the sent first sentence that it's nothing more than a troll comment and I delete it but don't come here trying to promote other channels it's not gonna happen it's just not just saying anyway you guys have a great day remember to love yourself because if you don't love you ain't nobody gonna love you hey go on over to coffee with Tammy we talk about some really interesting stuff thanks for watching have a great day